Bath style, like 1991, when Saddam's forces fled out of Kuwait back into Iraq. Obama's golfing in Palm Springs, looking at his retirement home. Why Obama doesn't know what's going on, this is a Saudi Arabian proxy army. And I, of course, said that months ago, years ago, but months ago, said they were getting ready to take down Iraq. At least the entire bottom half of it. Because that's the globalist plan. They've had these guys take over Libya, try to take over uh, Syria, try to take over Egypt. That's how evil our so-called government is, folks, that they would try to turn the stable government of Egypt, 35 years working with the United States, from an old policy set up when JFK left office at LBJ to stabilize the region. Christians, Muslims could live in peace. You could buy property there. You could be left alone. You could be a good tourist. Prosperity for the country. That is now gone. And how many times... Did I tell you, we've got to find the clip. I mean, we've got to just start, I guess, paying to have a transcript made every day. It would cost probably $400, $300 a day, but the computers are getting good enough to do it. So just search and turn everything into a Word document every day, like the NSA does with everybody's phone conversations. We should do it ourselves so we can search my comments. But I probably, let's not exaggerate, I probably said 150 times, because I did it on dozens of broadcasts, and I would do it each time over and over again on each broadcast, that you will hear them say Al-Qaeda-affiliated groups have gotten Stinger, modern Stinger missiles. These aren't left over from the 80s when the CIA gave it to them. And they're going to shoot down airliners in the U.S. and Europe. We've got to take your liberties because Al-Qaeda's now got service-to-air missiles that will shoot down airliners. Last night and this morning... All I heard was, see, we need Homeland Security more than ever. We need checkpoints on the highways. I saw Senator Mendez, it just went on and on, saying this has all got to be done because of the fact that Stinger missiles are about to kill us right now. And all it'll take is some private contractors, or they'll even use a cutout group of, of real Muslim extremists who, don't, who think they're actually fighting for Allah. That, that will shoot down. They'll probably fire four Stinger missiles. I don't know how the global stop operate. This is how they'll do it. They'll get outside Dallas or D.C. or wherever, and they'll pick, you know, aircraft taken off with you know, folks going to Europe for holiday or whatever. And they'll wait till two jets take off. They'll have four because it needs to be spectacular. And they'll shoot them all down right there. And then that'll disappear, and they'll find a car. I say this to ruin their plans. They'll find a car with all the Arabic and why they did it and everything. Maybe even blaming it on Iran. Doesn't matter Iran's the opposite group. I've now heard them saying Shiites are really Al-Qaeda and then Iran. I saw that on Fox and CNN yesterday. I'm now monitoring enemy transmissions even more because of how they operate. I can learn a lot because they like to pre-program. And I need the exact pre-programming to understand what they're planning. Because they talk to you like you're unconscious idiots. You know, they say... You kept your doctor, even though you can't keep it. This, this lowered your price, even though it increased it. You didn't build your business. Raising the debt limit doesn't raise it. They talk to you like you have a 45 IQ and can't talk. They talk to you like you're two years old. Even a two-year-old has a sermon knows it's a lie. And so I'm seeing pre-programming, and I'm telling you, it won't matter. When I get up and say, see, I told you, I'll be the traitor who doesn't care about the lives of the dead people. You know, how dare Alex Jones say the Stinger missile attack on the jet airliners in D.C. or Dallas or L.A.? How dare him or Chicago? Because they want a place with a lot of media to cover it the way they want. How dare him side with Iran and say they didn't do it? Even though we exposed the chemical weapons attack three times that Saudi Arabia launched against Assad to blame him. Later came out in, in, in Cy Hirsch, New Yorker magazine, Everywhere, BBC, it was staged, admitted, with Turkey as well. So, if I was the globalist, and then I could see all their pre-planning, they're doing exactly what I would do if I was them, you could see the whole thing unfolding. So let's go ahead and play Megyn Kelly on Fox News. We've got a bunch of these clips coming up. Get ready for, for Stinger missiles. Give up all your rights. Here it is. Breaking tonight, a troubling report on the terror group now in control of a third of Iraq. The State Department is now pulling hundreds of staffers from the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad as this terror group controls more of the territory around the capital city. 
Not only are we getting new reports that this group may have executed as many as 1,700 Iraqi security forces in recent days, including in a massacre that, that they put online and bragged about, but today we learned that the same group may now be in possession of a deadly cache of American-made firepower, <laughs> Stinger missiles. They are powerful enough to take down a commercial airliner. We're going to come back with that, oh, by the way, because they need that to take out the Iraqi helicopters. So the CIA said, how's 5,000 stingers? Are you happy? A bunch of articles in a major domestic Pentagon push where they domestically engaged in what was illegal until last year, propaganda, lies, saying, oh, Al-Qaeda and, and ISIS, they just got the missiles left in some bases in Iraq. Uh-huh. That's right. And uh, boy, that's why Obama's doing nothing. But now he sent 200 and something troops to the big giant embassy to make sure Al-Qaeda doesn't get it. Uh-huh. Al-Qaeda will probably shoot a few mortars at the base in the middle of the night and may even kill a few real troops just to make it look like there's a fight going on. Because the troops don't know it's all staged. Just like the Al-Qaeda is going to kill U.S personnel and contractors because it's real folks it's real wars it's just it's the same group at the top running it to take over nation states because stability and the people and freedom and civilization is the target it's called destabilization Zbigniew Brzezinski's written not one not two not three not four but five books and guess who read all five of them I read his Technotronic Era when I was 14 years old. You know why? Growing up, I wasn't allowed to watch television except to watch PBS or Saturday morning cartoons. And the house was just full of political science books. And I always thought his books had the coolest covers. Had all these little squiggly lines and green and yellow shapes. And I wanted to read it. I wanted to read The Road to Serfdom. I wanted to read all of it. You know what I did? And I guess that's why I'm a weirdo. See, when I was 14, I wasn't just a bookworm. I was playing football and dating girls and everything else. But I always wanted to run back at night and stay up late and read Zbigniew Brzezinski, where he admitted the elite run the narcotics and the elite control all the major criminal groups because that's how we maintain order is by controlling the evil. And then I read Machiavelli when I was 16, the same year I read Mein Kampf or My Struggle. And so I just had this top political science education by the time I was about 18 years old. Because it was so entertaining. I didn't realize what I was even reading at the time. It was just so interesting. Mass executions every other page in order of death by Heinz Hobel. And Page Turner in Rise and Fall of the Third Reich by Shearer. The Battle for Gaul by Julius Caesar. I was reading Caesar's words written 2,050-something years ago about out-of-control populations. And so in high school and college, I, I said, my God, this is everything I read. They're doing it now. And public, if you can learn how this stuff works, if I can learn how this works, we can turn this around. But you must discover how you're controlled. And then you can say they're going to take the Benghazi Stinger missiles and they're going to hold Europe and the United States hostage. And the elite here are going to take all of our rights in the next phase of Stinger terror. But only by exposing the enemy's next move can we stop them. We can pull up the Washington Times two years ago showing Saudi Arabian nationals do not have their burqas taken off and are not searched because they won't have it. They're, they're, they're not compliant. Their government controls our government to a great extent. Only the American people let folks stick their hands in their baby's diaper. What other country publicly lets their wives be groped by men with Perv, mustaches, and pot bellies. We're a joke, ladies and gentlemen. America was exceptional, and I love this country, and there's still a lot of exceptionalism left in it. But the yuppies and the trendies and, the, and, and, and all the freeloading illegal aliens that hate this country and think everything's free for them, and, and that I'm racist if I don't 
move 50 people in my house, you can all go straight to hell.